Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here. It is Saturday and you know we got to do some squishy chopping and slime squishing. Let's do it. Hey little bubble teens, there's no time to waste because we got one, two, three, four, five, six different things as usual. Some of them are squishy, some of them are slimes. We even have a sushi bath bomb. Oh, are you for real? A sushi bath bomb? A sushi bath bomb? Yeah, pray. I knew it. And I also see you brought a dash of palm to the Squishy Chopping Show. What's going on? Before we start the slicing and dicing, let me just show you what I have super quick. So, of course, my friend Colleen, she made me two homemade. One of them is actually in a Pokemon ball, like a brown one. And it's super heavy. I don't know what she did to it. We also have a bath bomb. Now, you're probably wondering why you got a bath bomb in the Squishy Chopping Show. The only reason is because it looks like a squishy sushi. I don't know why, but I think there's squishy sushi inside. You gotta check that out, see what it looks like. Oh, these are so, so cute. That is adorbs. Get ready for probably one of the biggest little squishies I've ever seen. Look at this thing, oh, it's so soft. I actually love it. It feels like a water balloon. And I don't know what is in there, probably just air, but I gotta chop it. Cheech. Bubble, it looks like the sun or like a puffer fish. And it's got a little handle on it. What's that about? Look at that, Cheech. You sure she's gonna chop this thing? You're so mean. And your final two little squish of things on my chopping block are actually not for chopping up. We are gonna squish them. We got a Japanese Nickelodeon slime. Oh, wait a minute. How do you know this is Nickelodeon slime? How do you know? Does that say Nickelodeon in Japanese? Oh, wait, forget about it. I see it right here. Nickelodeon. So cool. So we got that. My friend got it for me. And you know I'm so curious. Is it going to be super slimy or kind of like a putty? We will soon find out. And I got a slime gashapon little capsule. That is so cool. It's miniature. Oh, I can't read the writing on that tiny little slime. But it says clear men. Clear men. What does that mean? Hi, my little lovies. I got my bedazzled little shishies here today using these. Let's do this. Let's do this. But if you're ever going to do it at home, make sure you have a parent or adult supervising because we don't know what's in squishy things and shishies are sharp. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so heavy. Oh, here goes. I'm scared. Pop the top. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it's sparkly. Whoa, it's sparkly. It looks like outer space, bubble. The only thing coming to my mind right now is outer space. This looks like outer space. All starry and sparkly. It's nice. No wonder it was heavy. It wasn't just a plain plastic. It was filled with this slime or goo. Oh, but it is so soft. And the color, it's like a black sparkly. So, so cool. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Looks like a scoop of ice cream. Bubble, is there something inside of it? Stretch it out. And let's see. Now that I'm looking at this poke ball, I'm thinking she put something in here, maybe like a little Pokemon. Ooh, oh, yes she did. I had a feeling. So tiny. Is it a rabbit? What is that? Oh no, Bubba, look! She put a Pokemon bunny. She put the Pokemon Easter bunny. Wow. Bubba, oh, this literally looks like a bunny rabbit with reindeer ears. It's got little antlers, a little chocolate. It's cute. Ooh, sticking to your table. Not horrible. I have never seen a Pokemon like this. If you guys know the name of this guy, oh, it's so adorbs. Leave me a message. Look, he's sticking in that sludge slime. Actually, on second thought bubble, it don't look like out of space. It looks like a tar pit. A tar pit. Now that this little thing is open, oh, I have to say I love it. I love the cute little toy. I like that ball. And I like this slime. I don't know if she bought it or if she made it, but it is so soft and sparkly. Ooh, it's soothing. <laughs> it feels like, uh, it just feels like jelly. The sparkle on that. Sparkliest slime ever, for sure. It's made of 100% sparkle. And it's pokey. It's a Pokemon slime. There 
very nice surprise. I loved all of it. Moving along. Yeah, Bubba, it's a slime attack. A Nickelodeon slime attack from Japan. Open it. Next up, we have a very nice looking package of some iron slime, Nickelodeon. I don't think I've ever had Nickelodeon slime. I've had Gek, and I've never seen this color. I'm so curious. I cannot read the package, but it looks good. Let's open it. I'm finally opening it and I'm so happy right now because I've had this for a couple weeks. Colleen brought it from her trip, of course. She brought me all the goodies and I just cannot wait to touch it, squish it, see what's going on with it. Oh, whoa. It's blown bubbles. Bubble, it looks like orange marmalade in there. Looks like marmalade, not slime. I just poked it a little bit and you guys, whoa, it is better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be that super oozy kind of slime, but it's not. It's totally a mix between slime and like putty. It's kind of in the middle. Oh, this is the best. This is the kind of slime I wish I could make. I still can't figure it out. Look at that, it's freezing. Oh, I love it. Oh, of course it's good, because it's Nickelodeon, and Nickelodeon is the originator of the slime. Don't you know that? Ugh. Normally, putty or slime doesn't smell too great. It kind of has like a gluish smell. No, this stuff smells like perfume. I don't know why it smells so good. Maybe it's scented. It could be. I can't really read the package, so maybe it is. But look at the stretch on that. Oh, it's so, so cool. Looks like orange juice. It's got that orange juicy color. It's too, too soft. Oh, literally the best texture of any slime or putty you've ever had on your chopping block. Telling you now, it's the best. That was squishy thing number two and I just can't get over it. I mean, I have squished so many different slimes. I've made slimes, I've bought them, but this has to be one of the best. It's got a crazy scratch, it smells good, and it's just such a good texture. Oh, I love it, love it. I gotta see if there's more colors of this. Too good. Sweetie Pies, we are on to squish a thing number three, and it is huge. It's so, so big. Oh, it's so much fun though. It's like a little, one of those little punching bags. Look at it. <laughs> Recently in the stores, like the mainstream stores, Walmart, some of the pharmacies, they are starting to sell a lot of little squishies like this they don't have anything inside just like air filled but this thing right here is like triple or maybe even five times the size of a regular one and I actually found it for five dollars I couldn't believe it so squished though this thing is literally like a pillow it's so soft oh, that straight up looks like some type of prickly fruit like a cactus or something I have actually had this for a super long time. I think I've had it for a few months now. I keep it in my room. It's so, so cute. But it has reached its final day. Let's slice it up. Not have done this you guys I feel kind of bad just because I've had this for a super long time it's like one of my room decorations and now it is flat it's like a pancake look at it <laughs> it's shad let me fillet it and see how shad it really is bubble fillet it up the middle let me see Ooh, that's some stretchy rubber look at this 
while it lasted, but it is done. So I sliced this baby up the middle, and I have to say this rubber is so heavy, it's so thick, super stretch. I just can't believe it. I can't believe what kind of material this is. And <laughs> it's super depressing. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, Bubba, like, really? Why did you do it? You had nothing inside. Why? Tell you the truth, I think the only reason I wanted to pop this thing was to see how much air was inside if it was going to make like a big explosion pop, but it actually didn't. It didn't even make a noise at all. It just let all the air out and pretty much nothing. Actually, maybe I can make a squishy with this. Maybe I could put something inside, wrap it up, try that. Yeah, Bubble, try that. Good idea. Now move along, please. Ugh. Oh, your last squishy chop was like literally useless. So here's a good one. It has a purpose. It is a calming home eat. Chop it. Oh, I gotta get over it. Oh, I'm still upset about the last one that I popped. But this one is made for popping. You got your Colleen homemade. Cow balloon. Oh, cow balloons are Colleen's specialty. They are her specialty squishy. Get over it. Squishing it around, and I do feel something in there. She always puts little surprises, and there definitely is. I feel it. And it feels slimy. It almost feels like pudding. It's so soft. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's do it. What? What is that? Ooh, it's some kind of a jelly slime. What is going on here? What is this? It's sticky. What? <gasps> no. Oh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I think she put a flipper zoo. A flipper zoo. We love those. They're squishy and ooh, slimy. No, she did. Oh, I opened one of these the other day. My first little flipper zoo ever. I had a blind bag. And I think Colleen probably knew that. And she got me more. Oh, look at that little polar bear. It's covered in slime though. What's going on? And this side, look at this little pink thing. It looks like a, it's like a doggy. Oh, wait a minute. Sift through the slime and see if there's more flipper juice or something. So exciting. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I think she put more. You guys, I only have one of these. I have a little orange one. I think I got a whole pack here. Where did she get them? This is a flipper zoo squishy. Let me tell you something. There ain't nothing wrong with a flipper zoo squishy. I love that. Ooh, look at this one. It's gold. It looks like a hippo or something. So I'm sifting through this slime. I literally think she put like a hundred flipper zoos in here. Like, is she serious? I can't believe it. Everybody, take a look at these adorable little flippies. Look at these little flipper zoos. They are so tiny. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and all of this crazy slime. I don't know how she fit that in the cow balloon. It's just so many things. I washed them off and. Let's take a look. Here we go. So the first one, oh, so cute. It still has a little bit of slime. I got most of it off. Look at this little polar bear. And then the middle is like the super squishy rubber. You flip it and we got, looks like a purple husky or like a pinkish color. So got this one over here. It kind of looks like either a hippopotamus or a dinosaur, but look at the color. It's like a pretty gold. Flip it. We got, ooh. This one is sparkly, look at that. This looks like a hippo too, but just all these crazy colors. I love that one. Got this red guy here, I don't know, it looks like a bull or a cow, it's got those horns. Ooh, I love that red color. And it turns into alligator. Oh look, look at this, we got another alligator. But, will it be the same? Let's see. Oh no, it's different. Wait a minute, you guys, I think I'm onto something here. I'm so new to these little things, but look at this. We got two alligators. They are exactly the same, but when you flip them, they're different. This is like a golden cow or like a moose, and this one is like a red one. Look at this bubble. This little sparkly one is like pink, but then you flip it and it turns into the golden cow. We got two of them. We also have this, which is probably one of the cutest, just because I love penguins. Look at this little penguin. And it turns into, ooh, that looks like a seal. So, so cute. Okay, Bobby, enough with the flipper juice. Enough, because we got some sparkle slime to deal with. Look at it. It's melting to your table. It 
so much fun looking at these things. I forgot about this slime, but let me tell you guys, oh, it is so, so cool. It feels different than this one that was in that little Pokemon ball. This is a little thicker, almost like a putty, but this is so, so slinky. I don't know what, what other way to say it. It's like slinky and soft. And it's beautiful. It's got gold. It's like a purple golden color. I oh, love it. Getting lots of new slams today. It's funny because every time Colleen makes me a homemade, I actually keep it. <laughs> and pretty soon I'm going to show you that slam collection. What more could you want in a homemade? We got some slam, we got little flipper zoos. Moving along. Here you go, Bubba. Your final two squishies a sushi back bomb and a dash of prawn slam. You know what? Since I'm so curious, I'm gonna save this, save the best for last. Time to see if this sushi bath bomb has a squishy inside. Let's see. Hello, teens. We are ready to do this. I didn't have a bowl handy, so I'm using a little mason jar with some warm water. Let's see. I can't make out anything this says, but it is so, so cute. I've never seen anything like this. Chanel. Ooh, oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells good. It almost smells like a green tea or some kind of a perfume, kind of floral. So here it is, not too big, not too small. Pop it in the water. Uh-oh, listen to it. I definitely hear something inside, but I don't know if it's squishy. But at least it's sushi. Drop it in. Oh my goodness, I had no clue that would happen. <gasps> I got a waterfall on my chopping block. Look at this. Ah. Oh, did you seriously just do this? Did you? You are cray. What's going on? Worst idea ever in the history of squishy chopping. Ooh, but it smells good. Look at it. It's still going. It's like a volcano. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I thought something weird would happen. It is a mason jar. It's got kind of a weird shape, but I never thought it would explode like that. Ugh. How am I going to find my sushi in there? Oh, that was insane. I cleaned up the mess. Something in shard. Look at that. I think we found a sushi ball. I mean, that was a mess upon mess. I had a waterfall. My feet are soaked. My pants are soaked. This thing was too bubbly, but... We got our prize, what we were looking for. And hopefully, it's gonna be squishy. Let's see. Oh, let me break it down for you. That big mess was for nothing, because this ain't squishy. I mean, it's kinda squishy, but not really. You got some weird sushi and some green tea. Congratulations. Oh boy, I did. I don't know why I looked at this package and I said, you know what? I think those are squishy. They're not, you guys. They're kind of like a hard rubber, not even as soft as an eraser. But I still like them. I think this is the cutest little thing to come out of a bath bomb. Came inside of this little capsule. I actually like it. No complaints here. I love it. So cute. Whatever. It was cute, but it wasn't squishy. So what's the point? Tell me. Here it looks like we got that one right there. There's five more to collect. I do have to get more of these. But next time I think I'm going to put it in the bath because all my chopping block, no good. Hey, my little bubble babes, we are on to our final squishy. And actually, it's nothing to chop up, but it is a gashapon. And it looks like some slime or putty in there. Oh, I just can't wait to see it. See what it feels like. Okay, bubble. So, like I said, I can't read it, but it says clear mend. What does that mean? It's so tiny, but it's heavy. And then we got a little paper. What is this about? inside of that little gashapon capsule we get this little paper here i guess there's more to collect you can't really tell the colors though because it's black and white but i'm super happy we got that classic green check it out so cute here we go I saw this little tube I was like I thought I knew exactly how this would feel not at all whoa it's completely different than I thought it is so cool you guys it's like a putty you know what it almost feels like like a crazy Aaron's thinking putty but even maybe like a little bit thicker whoa <laughs> I love this stuff if I could take it out oh well, this must be something new like clear mendo it's clear mendo so 
I got out as much as I could. Whoa, that was sticking to that little container. I just can't even describe it. It's so clear, but as soon as I start squishing it, it's getting a little cloudy. But I like it. It's such a crazy putty. It breaks apart, not too stretchy. It's cool. Bubble, bubble the color is like icy mint. It looks like, looks like bubble gum. even has like the texture of like a lip balm. That's how it looks and feels. It's just like a balm. Crazy. So guys, I am finished. I'm finished with the squishies for today. I loved every single one of these. Only problem came with that little bath bomb that exploded, but I still loved it. These little things were so, so cute. But if I had to pick a fave, it is the Nickelodeon slime. It had the best texture. Oh, I love it. Just, it is the best. The shawl. Bubble. If I had to pick a best and worst, this is the worst. It was pointless, nothing inside. And my fave was the poke ball with the sparkle slime. It was beautiful. So nice. I would also love it, as always, for you guys to leave me a comment. Let me know what squishy thing or slime you liked. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.